I'm Michael Watcher. I'm here on CNEagles.com along with Vicki Kazee Holofield and Coach a one and one day. What do you remember from game one? I mean, it's been such a long day. What do you remember from that first game? Uh, well, I knew we played uh, what I thought was a good game until the fifth inning and the wheels kind of came unglued. And uh, Georgia College has a lot of speed on their team. And uh, I just thought in the infield uh, we weren't as quick on our feet. Uh, they bunted uh, extremely a uh, good number of times. And, uh, and I knew they would do that, but uh, that's, that's kind of their game plan. But uh, we, we'll just get a little bit better in that department. But uh, other than that, they, they hit the ball well too. So uh, a good day for them. They played a little bit better than us in, in that last game. First game, I'm sorry. They score four runs in that eighth inning, and you guys come back, and a lot of different things happen in your final half inning. You got some clutch hits at times from some players that maybe you didn't expect, and then Kaylin Davis pinch hits. She gets hit by a pitch, base is loaded. You have an opportunity maybe to tie it, maybe to win it. I think you have to be pretty happy with how your team came back after they gave up four runs in the top half of the inning. Sure, uh, not not pleased with the outcome, but as far as not you know quitting, giving giving up or anything like that. But something I would like to see, uh, pinch hitting is is tough. Uh, I realize that you know you're in the dugout and then boom, all of a sudden coach calls your name. But we've got to put a bat on the ball. I mean every team in America you know has pinch hitters coming in there. We we need to uh, our batting average is not real good right now with pinch hitters, but. Uh, you know, at times we've got three slappers in the lineup. There's going to be times that I'm going to need that right-handed batter or left-handed batter to get in there and get the ball out of the infield for us. So uh, that's that's an area we really need to work on. Then game two, short memory offensively. You guys come out just firing in that second game. A lot of different players contributing for you in the uh, game two. Well, I think something that's going to be key for us, uh, one through nine, uh, when you're playing D2 ball, good, you know, good teams, everybody's trying to get that runner to second base. It is critical that you put the bunt down, uh, especially in the number two hole. Cassie Lyons came in and did a phenomenal job for us today, and that's something that's been lacking for us. So, uh, you know, we're, you know, you might give up defense here for offense here, and those are some of the decisions that we're having to make. Uh, but uh, we've, we've got to get better in that department as well. You sit on 998 career victories. What do you need to do to get to 1,000 in your next contests? Well, I wish I could just sit here and say, you know, play two more ball mm -hmm. games. But uh, from from here on out, there has not been anybody that's just, you know, easy wins. Limestone will give us everything uh, that we can. But, uh, you know, I, I hear that occasionally. I'm not going to talk to the kids about it. I know they're aware of it. I'll, I'll go out there and coach two ball games, you know, just like I, I did today. But uh, will I be happy when it's over? I will. Um, I'd be lying if, if I wasn't. But uh, I'm thankful to uh, – to be um, in this position as far as Carson Newman softball uh, is concerned. Uh, I think maybe it'll be something good. You guys can, can write up for our program. Uh, but again, I'm just lucky to be a big part of that. Thank you very much for your time. All right, thank you. For Coach Kazee Hollifield, I'm Michael Watchering here on CNEagles.com.